hey loves welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on this video this is a quick simple eyeshadow look which doesn't need any false eyelashes so let's get right into it first i'm going to prime and prepare my eyes for eyeshadow using foundation you can use concealer for this i just prefer to use foundation because i feel it does not crease as quickly as concealer does and it also helps control the oiliness that i have on my eyelids and then i'm going to use a damp beauty sponge to blend out that foundation smoothly i prefer using a sponge over a brush but you can honestly use whatever applicator works best for you and then i'm going to set my eyelids as i said yes i do have oily eyelids so setting them with setting powder really helps for this eyeshadow look, we're only going to use two brushes and this is the first one. It's a blending brush. It is so easy to use. Now the method that I use is to pack and blend. As you can see, I'm packing that eyeshadow look above my crease. It's actually below my brow bone. As you can see, I'm just tapping it. I'm not blending anything out yet. You want to tap in your product before you blend it out so that it appears pigmented. And this is how I hold my brush. As I pack it in, I prefer to hold the brush very close to the bristles. But when I blend it out, I move my hand a bit backwards so that it has a lighter grip. And and it's easier to blend out your eyeshadow that way and when I'm blending out I only blend out the harsh edges I'm not blending out everything completely because then you're going to lose that pigment that you have already placed so make sure that you just blend out the harsh edges so that you still maintain that pop of color you want to blend that product towards your nose bridge and also blend it downwards into your crease it's almost like you're creating a smoky eye by the way loves, the details of the eyeshadow palette I'm using in this video will be listed in the description box down below so please do check that out. And now I'm moving on to the next eye. As you can see that is exactly where I'm placing my eyeshadow. And this is what I mean by packing that eyeshadow right below your brow bone and then blending it out. Remember to blend out only the harsh edges and not the entire eyeshadow. You also want to blend this eyeshadow upwards near your eyebrow. And this is how we're looking thus far. Now moving on to that smoked out wing liner, I'm going to use this brush. Using a black eyeshadow, I'm going to create a wing liner. Now I know winged liner can be tricky and that is why I'm firstly creating the outline of the wing before I fill it in. This makes it easier for me to see exactly what shape I'm going for and if it suits the look that I'm going for today. As you can see I'm dragging that eyeshadow to the front of my eye. This just helps elongate my eyes. I have big round eyes but in order to create that sleek smoky look I tend to drag that eyeshadow forward. Now going in with the same brush we used for that maroon beautiful shade, I'm going to smoke out that black eyeshadow. By smoking it out, I'm simply blending it into the eye and this is the grip that I use. As you can see, it's not a firm tight grip. I'm just simply blending that eyeshadow out. Now because I'm not going for that winged liner illusion, I'm going to blend this out a lot. But if you're going for a more harsh winged liner look, then obviously you won't blend it as much as I did. And this is how that smoky eye is looking. And now I'm going to apply some mascara just to add a little bit of volume to my eyelashes. As you know, we're not applying any falsies in this video. And you don't need to because it is such a simple look. Now for a little bit of pizzazz, I'm going to go into some setting spray on a pointed brush and dip into my favorite highlighter and do you see that glow it gives to my inner corners? I'm also going to smoke out my lower lash line using that same eyeshadow that we used for that maroon crease look just to give this eye more definition. I also highlight my brow bone just to add a little bit of drama to my look. 
And that is it my loves. I love how this look can accommodate whether you have false eyelashes or just plain mascara. You really don't need to do that much. It's so simple and easy. But I thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up and recommend this video to anybody who might need some help. Without further ado, I'll see you in my next video.